What's up, Time Keepers? Me, Time Gamer here. We're going to be trying out a new game for you guys called Blameless. So, if ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright, guys. So, today, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the extra life stream uh, before I start anything about this game. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed last week all the extra life videos I posted. Stupid phone. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah, last week I did all the, uh, videos for Extra Life. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. That was really fun. Uh, really enjoyed. Uh, got $380 out of $500, which I didn't reach the goal, but I'm still happy with the result. This is the best amount I ever raised for Extra Life. But we won't talk too much about Extra Life, so... Yeah, you can guys can go check my Extra Life page. Check out all the detail about what happened and all that stuff. And, uh, and we'll go watch the videos for Extra Life. I talk about it in the Latin, the part 11... Uh, at the end of the video there where I go into it and all that stuff. So you guys want more information about what happened and all that. So today we're going to be playing Blameless. It's sort of a horror a suspense type game. And uh, I don't know much more than that. So we'll go from there. So let's go. I'm an architect. Freelance. So I take job offers as they arise. So when this guy called me, I was relieved I could finally get a paying job. He said he needed help with interior design for his house that he was building. I always respected people who can do construction, so I naturally agreed to come and take a look. All right, all right, all right. I had a couple of ideas. It was already quite late, but he insisted on me coming over the same day. That's kind of weird. To really weird, actually. Because I didn't want to lose this offer. I drove there with my car. His house was all the way over in the suburban area, quite remote, but with other houses nearby quiet place hmm. the man met me at the front gate it was a temporary fence and the gate was made of rotting wooden planks he started showing me around the yard it seemed weird that there was a large garbage container blocking the way so we had to go through the garage to get inside the house he took me through the rooms so i started looking around at one point i saw a stain and at first glance it seemed like brick dust but then i realized it was blood spilled <clears throat> on the floor oh dear god thought that maybe there was another worker who got injured so I turned to tell the man that's when I saw his hand raised to hit me he was holding a metal rod before I could defend myself he hit me in the head I must have passed out what the fuck would what I don't know how long I was out <sighs> when I woke up all right that's a that's a very weird story all right Let's get up from this mess and see what the fuck's going on here. Uh, that hurt. Seems like it did. Alright. <clears throat> okay, this is a small little room. Alright. So what is this? Oh, Nokia. Click right mouse button to reverse action. This blood stain does not look like it's the result of a banal injury. I guess not. I for mouse wheel down to excess inventory. Okay. It seems fresh. <clears throat> blood hasn't completely dried out yet. Is that is that my blood? This looks like something was being dragged across the blood stain. Arch <laughs> Architect by day, investigator by night. What can I do with this phone? The phone is smashed. No way it's gonna work anytime soon. Okay. Let's see what else we got lying around here. We got a drawer with nothing inside. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice is still groggy. I'm still still trying to get rid of that freaking colon I've been having for a while now. Can I keep the hammer as self-defense? Hadouken! Hadouken! I guess not. Hmm, that's a nice metal pipe. Oh. Well, what the fuck? What the fuck is this for?
Come on. I should bend the rod, but it's too tough to do by hand. Oh shit. Bend it. Hmm. Play with this then. Okay. Guess that's not gonna work. Useless. Let's go explore. Oh, I can run. Sweet. Oh, use it as a, 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 a like a whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, exactly. There you go. I don't know what I'm gonna need this for, but hmm. Am I supposed to use this as a pry bar or something? One hour later. Oh, motherfucker, what the fuck? Why did I not see that? I might be able to get further through the attic. God damn it. Why is that some always something I forget to look? Always look upwards in a game. I always forget to fucking do that. Uh, okay. Shit, it's dark. Yeah, no shit. Fuck is that? What the hell was that? There we go. Oh, I guess uh, I just fell down. <clears throat> what is this? Flask? Oh, wallet. The library. Helen Woodward. Helen Woodward. How did it get here? Oh, that's a nice pisser. Here you go. Hmm. It's holding with the wires. It's holding with the wires. Heard ya. Hmm. Always look up. I'm gonna look up now every fucking time. Oh, I had the wire cutters under you. Uh, fuck. Oh, wire cutters. Wire cutters. The wire cutters are broken. Hinge on that handle should attach, but it's missing. Of course. Of course. Now I'm looking for a pin in the dark. Gosh darn it. A shevel. Pipe looking thing. Oh, something over here. Yay. I 
All right, easy peasy so far. You can interact with any object in front of you. Try both the screw and the Hallelujah. Ah, oh, giggity. Ah, oh, giggity. All right. Thank you, Jeebus. Okay, we're not out yet. God damn it. Whoa. Shit. All right. I think I'm going to go back into the little room over here. I guess I'm gonna have to keep trekking forward. Tracking, trekking. Don't do this to me. I don't see anything. I literally do not see anything. You son of a bitch. Who's. What the fuck? Who's fucking around with the lights? That scared me a tiny bit. Come on. Of course, I can't open it. Goddamn, goddamn. There's a basement now. It's a weird looking house. I, I don't like the look of that dark corridor. Let's see if it's better. <laughs> Sorry, you're, you weren't fast enough on that one, I guess. A room? Another room? Uh... What the hell? Uh-oh. It's a dead body. She's... She's dead. I don't want to look at her face. I gotta get out of here and call for help. It's dust. What's that? Ooh, rigamortis. Thirty-eight East Highland. This house. Was she invited here too? God damn it. Keys. Come on, what the hell? All right, all right. Nothing of special, uh, whatever here. Oh, a what? Oh, great. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's, that's a nice little vanity there. I really enjoy that. Where do I need to fucking go here? Creepy. Dead body. Oh, outside. My god, this place is so huge. If there's something under the stairs here. All right, let's go outside. Finally out of the house. Uh, I don't think it's as simple as you might think it is. Hold shift while moving and run. Why are you telling me to run? Locked. Oh wait. Um. Yay. <laughs> Okie dokie, can I... Let me take those keys back. This is the way out. God, I, I, I've seen this in one of the pictures. 
God damn it. Jesus. The fuck that? That's scary. Shit, no power. The electric must have tripped for the whole garage. Hello? Hello? Why am I stuck here? Oh, okay. Careful, that's probably very heavy on the foot. I know, I can probably... Uh, workstation. Fuck this. Broken. What is it? Why can I not read it? What the fuck is this so bright for? Why is this so bright? Oh. 13 July 2001. <clears throat> Subject. Final reminder Final letter. Reminder letter. Dear Mr. Hopkin, this is to inform you that according to our records, as of 12 July 2001, we still haven't received back the scaffolding or the three suspension ladders you borrowed from the Deirdre Construction Stores on 7 June of this year. Please return the scaffolding within 14 days upon receiving this letter. Should you choose to ignore this appeal, we will be passing this matter to a collection company, which will be obliged to forcibly remove the scaffolding from your possession. To cover any fees or penalties incurred by such action will be your sole responsibility. Mm. Note, you will not receive any more reminder letters from us. Yours sincerely, Anna Catwell, Account Manager, Dare Drew Constructions Limited. All right, makes sense. This must be one of the three suspension ladders mentioned in the letter. Hmm. So anything of use in here, there's this. Nope. Nothing of interest in here. This is a weird fucking house plot. More dark rooms. Hmm. Nothing right now. Oh. I don't like this. Why is everything always locked? All right, all right. Uh, here. here what's this ah I believe this thing can open fuse boxes oh interesting uh, if only I had something to open the fucking thing
Now to find the fuse box. Why so many doors with no no door handle? That's so weird. I guess I'm gonna need this. For where? Not sure. Oh, probably here, right? Ah, uh, yes, there we go. Thank God it didn't come and get the scaffolding yet. Oh Jesus, Jesus Christ. Get away from me. Oh dear God, no. Run. There he is. Help me for God's sake, help me. Stay where you are. Oh, that scared the fuck out of me. I'm under arrest. What the fuck are you talking about? Get down on your knees. But I didn't do anything. Get on your knees now. You oh dear God. Yeah, I got it. I got it, man. I got it, man. This is what happened. He was chasing me with a rod in his hand. He must have hidden when he saw the police cars pulling up to the gate. Mr. Malcolm, we searched the yard thoroughly and didn't find any evidence suggesting there was another man. No, 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 no. He was there. He was the owner who called me. Don't you have phone record? Former owners sold the house due to personal financial problems two weeks ago. They moved to a different town on the other side of the country. The private company who owns it now proved all their employees were off-site, having a team building activity that night. How convenient. How could you not find evidence of him? I'm telling you, he was there. I heard you. Our officers got a phone call from one of the neighbors reporting lights coming on in the house and suspicious person moving on site. They gave us your description. They never saw another man. Of course they didn't. How could that be? This doesn't make any sense. Let's I... cut the crap. What? It does make pretty clear sense to me. I have to say that I honestly don't believe any part of your bullshit story that you're giving me here. Everything suggests that you murdered that woman. No, what? I found the victim's blood on your clothes and your hands. You had the victim's wallet in your pocket. Wait. And the officers caught you fleeing the crime scene. You, no one else. Guess whose fingerprints match the ones we found on the victim's body? Of course. Huh? I don't know why you murdered that woman, but I'll guarantee God damn it. you're never getting out. You're going down, Mr. Blameless. Oh shit, the title of the game. That's how it all began for me. And it was far from over. Alright guys, that was Blameless. A small little story. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, fun little puzzle game. Um, what else can I say about the game? It was a pretty fun. If you guys can try it out, it's, it is free on Steam. Uh, I guess you guys can go find it. It's pretty easy. Blameless. Uh, hopefully there might be a second part to this game. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, the voice acting is... Uh, the only thing downside I found was the bit of the voice acting. I felt like the voice acting had no punch to it. Like, where you saw some points in the, in the, um, in the subtitling. Where there was like a question mark or an exclamation mark. And there weren't really that intonation to the voices in the game. Which was a bit weird, but... It, it was still pretty fun to, to, to play. I really enjoyed it. Small little stories. I like these kind of games where they're like one sit through 30 minute game. Uh, pretty simple and all that. So th hopefully you guys enjoyed the game. If you like it, if you enjoyed the game, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Would really appreciate that. Leave a comment below what you thought of the game. And definitely tell me your opinion of uh, what you think of the whole game. Uh, and if you try it out, of course, and all that. And of course, follow me everywhere, MeTimeGamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com forward slash MeTimeGamer. 
where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much guys for watching, and we'll see you next video. Keep on keeping on.